I am competing to be the best coffee brewer in the world for my ratio. Hearts, magnesium. Let's go! You guys, I don't even want to be champion. It's game time, baby. So Jordan is up next. I don't know what to say. I, I blacked out. Jordan, I you! Well, we stayed up almost all night. We had to go back home. I honestly would have rather come in last place. Jose David. Jordan, uh, uh, we went to the doctor. It's, uh, it's what we consider a miracle. We are leaving Lola's farm right now. And we're running super light. Like, we're, we might miss our plane. I just bro. We are so behind on time that Sadie currently doesn't have any clothes on. But we'll get there, I promise. We'll be back in four days. Hopefully with a big old trophy and a whole bunch of happy friends and a whole bunch of pride. You ready to go on the airplane? Yeah. Welcome to the Bowery Lane, and welcome to Panama City. Panama City. Panama City, okay. Where does that ticket go to? To go to the plane. But where does the plane go? Panama City. They just called the final boarding call. We just made it in time. We're running. Hola, ¿cómo estás? That's the way I go to the airplane. Muy bien. Hola, big second, big second. Take off. Take off. Take <laughs> off. You want to go see our friends? Yeah. Hello, and gracias, gracias. <laughs> Welcome to Panama City, the place where all this is going down. You want to race? Yeah. Three, two, what? one, go. I'm gonna be. <laughs> Okay. Don't let go. You hold on to that. Don't let go. <laughs> you say Bubba? Careful. I got you, Bubba. I'm never gonna let you fall, alright? I'm honestly shocked with how well Sadie's doing right now. I feel like all she wants to do right now is just run. <laughs> she doesn't want to hold her hands. She wants to do everything by herself. She's at that stage now where she's, she's, she's an independent girl. So I'm honestly shocked with how well she's doing. Uh, casco en tigo. Okay, vamos. We got our taxi guy. I need to run into the airport to go to the bathroom real quick. George's loading up the bags. We got like a quick 30 minute ride to where our Airbnb is. So this day is almost done. All right, loading up into the taxi now. We should be there in no time. No necesito cambio. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, welcome to Costco Antiguo. If you guys are new around here, if you're wondering why we're here, gracias, muchas gracias. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. If you're wondering why we're here, I am competing to be the best coffee brewer in the world. Step number one of that journey is competing to be the best coffee brewer in Panama. And the finals for Panama is in a building just over there. And we don't have a lot of time until the competition day. This place is amazing. Every time we come back here, I'm like, man, we gotta come back here more often. And the cool thing is, all of our friends are here waiting for us. What's up? <laughs> 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 Hello judges, my name is Jordan Saglio with the morning. We got to training right away and we went late into the night. There's a lot of work to be done, but something you guys need to know. There's a lot going on in the background right now. Uh, as a lot of you guys know, Jose David has bladder cancer. A couple weeks back we set up a fundraiser and you guys donated. That allowed him to pay to have surgery to remove the tumors from his bladder. Well, he had that surgery just a few days ago. And it's been, I think it's a little less than a week. He's out of surgery and he's here with us right now, helping in every way that he can. I can't believe he's here just a few days after having 
bladder surgery while fighting off bladder cancer. And yeah, it just means so much to me right now. Um, but there is a lot of stress going on in the background too. He got a call from his doctor yesterday saying he needs to come in to the office immediately. So once this competition is over, Jose David is going in for a meeting with his doctor. He wouldn't tell him anything about the news, but there's just so much going on between this competition, all of us being together, and then just this emotional roller coaster with Jose David, but we're feeling the love either way. And tomorrow is a really big day. All right, it's go time. Competition day. Don't mind this uh, couch that I have to climb over here. This is the barrier, so Sadie doesn't walk down the stairs voluntarily. <laughs> Hi, Bubby. How are you doing today? A little cranky because we were up till midnight last night. What were you watching Shrek? We were watching Shrek till very late last night. Well, I understand. Everyone's got to have a midnight Shrek party. <laughs> I love you, Bubba. Time to start practicing. There's a lot to do. Hello, judges. My name is Jordan Saglio with the Morning Movement Coffee, and today, come to you in celebration. Now I know it may sound crazy, but I spent the last few months driving over 25,000 kilometers, created by the team at Think of Sophia, through their innovative, to my way to the outside, with the intention of winning all the coffee grounds evenly. Ylang Ylang. Lemongrass, peach, and uchuva. I was not born here in Panama. I'm an immigrant to this country. And being an immigrant, I find it incredibly important to give back to a place that has given me so much happiness. Because in the words of Alexander Supertramp, happiness is only real when shared. Tiempo! Let's go! Woo! <laughs> Damn, you did it. Come on, you guys! Come on! Let's go, George! Hey, zero faults. One, one more thing. So it's a little afternoon. The first contestant actually goes on at one. Jordan luckily is second to last, so he's not gonna be going on until 7 p.m. tonight. So we're gonna head over there around five, so we got about five hours, four and a half hours left to go. But Jordan has already practiced like the whole run through, probably at least five or six times at this point today. How are you guys feeling? What rating would you give Jordan right now? 98 out of 100. Wow, so we're like, Right there, baby. His beard. He has to shave his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I love it. We need some gospel up in here. What are we doing? So right now is an extremely important moment. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, oh yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So we are doing the last and final Let's taste it. test to get all of the proper notes <laughs> that Jordan is going to present in the competition. So Jose Davi, can you, can you just tell us why you like to wear your glasses when you're doing the, the, the notes? The thing is that my eyes, yeah, if, if they, they, they can tell what I'm, what I'm thinking. It's like poker. They, they, bright, they get bright and I might distract him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I might distract him because I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> you can see. <laughs> Listen up those hips, honey. You're looking like a true Italiano, honey, with that slicked hair back. So we're just a few hours from the competition, and we need to get the last tasting notes that we're going to present because a huge part of our score is how we explain the coffee and how the judges perceive it. And this coffee changes like crazy. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Come on. <laughs> Just crazy, man. All the intensities are this medium is, high, medium This is high like medium. the best thing. Like if we, were, if we were going to make a change on purpose, this was, this was it. Because it got better. We knew that this thing was going to be. <laughs> it got way better. It's game time, baby. All of us, we're going to be heading over there. It's 4.52. George goes on at 7, so we're going to have a couple hours to just kind of settle in there, watch the other contestants, and then he's on. What's wrong, Dada? What's wrong, Dada? Nothing's wrong, Bubba. Huh? I'm just focused. It's go time. You guys, I don't even want to be champion. I really want to do this for Arturo. Um, 
with the amount that he's put in to helping me, and then not only that, but with three years prior, that he has tried his very best and has come up short. I want to do this for him, and also for Jose David, uh, with everything he has going on, as you guys know, with his bladder cancer and his recovery and everything he's going through. And he's still here helping in every single way that he can. I want to do this for these guys. It means so much to them, and with it meaning so much to them, it means even more to me. So, I'm gonna leave you guys here, but I'm gonna go get everything I got. Well, I get there, I'm sorry, I'll look over it. Continuously, the temperature of my kettle dropped up to three degrees Celsius. It's go time. What are you guys doing? So Jordan is up next. They're just getting everything set up now. So the anticipation is real right now. Jordan's backstage right now. I just stepped outside so you guys could see. But he's about to go on any minute. For some reason though, I feel a lot less nervous this time. Para la presentación de Jordan, cuando quieras este tiempo. Even though our time together is just made up, for me, this marks the end of an incredibly long journey. The story goes a little something like this. aftertaste is long lasting. Now judges, before I turn ends, I would like to point something out. I was not born here in Panama. I'm an immigrant to this country. And being an immigrant, I find it important to give back to a place that's given me so much happiness. Because happiness is only real when shared. Tiempo. Yeah! Woo! As you talk about the first time you talk to, you drink a special coffee. Wow, it was in this man's coffee shop right here. <laughs> and I dedicate the whole, this whole presentation to him. Yes. And my good friend Jose David over there. Uh, he's taught me everything I know. And this presentation is a representation of him and everything he's taught me over the years. So, uh, mind-blowing, life-changing, and led me to where I am today. Uh, I don't know what to say, I, I blacked out. Uh, I can't even really, I don't even know what happened other than my timer telling me that when I'm overtime, went off, like, right at the very last moment. Other than that, I can't really tell you guys much because I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. It's very strange. I need, to, I need to watch it back, but I think we're going right into the award ceremony. Del Campeonato Nacional de Brewers es para Jordan Sanguido. So we came in third. We came in third out of 22 people that entered into this competition. And I think at first we felt okay. We felt content. I mean, we were bummed we didn't win, but I think we really started to feel a lot of sadness. And I don't know how else to say, but we felt bad when we got our score sheets because those score sheets just ripped all of our hearts out. I know I'm the winner, so I have you, Bubba. <laughs> Well, we stayed up almost all night. I got about two hours of sleep. It's 5 a.m. now. 
and we have to leave Panama City right away. We gotta go back home. There's a ton to fill you guys in on, but we need to get out of here. We gotta get to the airport and catch a flight. I'm exhausted. Uh, there's a lot to fill you guys in on, and we'll fill you guys in on that back at Lolo's farm. Home sweet home. Ah, oh, feels so good to be home back on Lolo's farm. All right, so what happened when we got those scores? Um, I think first, I think we had a really good shot at winning. I think we all thought we had a really good shot at winning. Well, I think there was some disappointment because we would have loved to represent Panama on the world stage and tell this story and share this coffee. Um, third's okay. And I think at first, I think you can even see on the emotion in my face, it was like content, you know? Um, but then we got the score sheets back and I was almost so shocked that I didn't even know what to say to the judges. I think all of us were. Because I think Jose, David, Arturo, and myself, we each have our own area of expertise, our own thing that we're good at. Basically in those three categories, they just ripped our hearts out and smashed us. Like for example, Jose David is arguably the best coffee evaluator in Panama. And not only that, but one of the best coffee evaluators in the whole world. He gave us all the tasting notes of this coffee. And for all those categories, we got a one out of three, which is basically the lowest score that you can get. Basically meaning that they were all completely inaccurate. And then in the well-prepared section, which is all about your technicality, how you brewed the coffee, the amount of detail that you're sharing about the coffee, the intricacies. I mean, this is Arturo's wheelhouse. He is one of the most meticulous coffee brewers I've ever met. And they gave us a one out of six, with the reason being that our glass was clunky or it was the glass that we served the coffee in was hard to hold. And then for me, uh, the thing that really hurt, I guess is the best way to explain it, is presentation, which is all about the story. They gave us a one out of six. This is the whole story that I told about our travels across the United States, sharing this coffee with hundreds of people and then sharing our story with four and a half million of you guys on here. We made something like 46 videos in 48 days and we traveled to all 48 states, um, sharing this coffee that we brewed for them. To say that not only did that not bring to the presentation, but that it took away from it. It was terrible. Um, it was a waste of time. That was what I really cared about was to stand in front of the Panama coffee community and say, I'm a foreigner here, I'm an immigrant, but I love this place, I love this country, and I love this coffee. And I just stood in front of four and a half million people and said, Panama has the best coffee in the world. And for none of that to land. Like as a, I, I see myself a story, as a storyteller and having someone feel that emotional feeling, even just a little bit, is like what I live for. The whole part of the presentation is to bring a story that enhances the experience. And I thought I did that. I thought I did that in a way that no one's done before and I don't think anyone will ever be able to do again. I honestly would have rather come in last place and just had at least like some level of appreciation for that. That would have been more gratifying for me. Jose David. Jordan. What's up? Uh, uh, we went to the doctor to get the the report from the pathologist. And? They found nothing. My man. That's awesome, yeah. news, man. It says zero, 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 zero. Nothing. Awesome, man. Yes, sir. I want to post this because uh, this cannot be quiet, bro. This okay. for Even the doctor is like... It's, a, it's what we consider a miracle. Well, what I learned from this weekend and with you is we cannot trust men, but we can trust God. This is what I learned. Maybe somebody needs this message and this will probably get to somebody that needs that faith to overcome whatever situation they need. That's more important than everything else. I would rather have that than have won the damn thing. Over here we won the first place, brother. Yeah, we're, <laughs> that's, that's for sure.